okay this week in terms of your practice pieces what I want you to do is basically set up and understand um, some toolbox or snippet code and I also want you to get in and do an exercise on divs to start with your snippet and toolbox pieces under the MSCT area here I have set up a couple of really common snippets that I might use now snippets on this particular page you cannot save this entire page as a web page because you would end up saving all of this information around it rather we want to work on and play with these little tiny snippet pieces in between here so what I'm going to do so I'm going to highlight that for a moment we're going to start with this particular piece here this first line where it has the slash star and then the star slash that is marking up the code meaning that that is not actually read by CSS rather that's a piece of information that you can leave in your CSS so that the next designer coming along taking a look at it would understand what this particular rule the very next thing does for the entire page so in this case this code markup says okay the next piece clears all of those pieces and I'm going to show you how that works here in a moment first of all I'm going to come back here into Dreamweaver just as a, another framework we know that in terms of code I've got this head piece that opens and closes I've got this body piece that opens and closes now I have split my screen vertically here I'm going to go ahead and type in this is a paragraph and this is a big headline another paragraph of information right and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy and paste that a couple times out now this is a piece of information that quite frankly you can sit back and watch the important part here is this is that every time I clicked on something got to the end and hit enter this gap automatically developed in here that's been a, a big frustration of a lot of people because it's not intuitive why should there be a gap there the reason is is that all of these are what are called block level elements the paragraph the headlines the div tags there are several things in traditional HTML that are block level elements and when we're adding a block level element the default of HTML is to put a space between um, that block level element and the next block level element so in order to get rid of a block level element spacing problem we can do a couple of things the first thing that we could do is we could highlight this this is a paragraph I can see that down here I'm gonna go ahead and apply a head uh, rule here I don't have any rules yet for them over here but I do want to go ahead and apply them so that you'll see what it happens if I make a rule for the paragraph to get rid of and I'm gonna to have to switch over to tag and paragraph here to get rid of any kind of padding any kind of margin and I'm gonna go over to the border and get rid of any kind of width once I do that under box I've gotten rid of all of I've declared specifically that my padding would be zero and that my margins would be zero and that my border would also be zero once I click OK on that then what happens is that as I hit enter notice now every time I hit enter I don't get those extra spaces right and that's because I have said every time I invoke a paragraph which is the normal thing to have happen when I hit enter don't give me any kind of margin padding or border now what is still going on with this headline here well I didn't write a block level um, element for or excuse me I didn't write a cascading style sheet uh, rule for this h1 piece here remembering that block level elements will have that buffering zone even though I've taken the buffer away from the paragraphs here I haven't taken it away from the headline here so what I could do is I could come over here and create a new rule for a tag and in this case it's going to be h1 and once again I'm going to have to go to my padding and declare zero and margin zero and my border I'm going to declare those as zeros as well so now I start to see this stuff collapsing in on each other which is more intuitive however um, here's the problem in order for me to get all of these things to erase effectively their borders padding 
and margins, I would have to go and set a rule up for each and every block level element. And that's really not leveraging uh, cascading style sheets very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those styles altogether. And I could have just come over here and gotten rid of them as well, right? Um, again, I've still applied the attribute of paragraph in each one, etc., over here, but I've gotten rid of the style that says what those things look like. And I'm going to jump over here to our snippet page, and I'm going to copy this particular snippet. I'm just going to highlight and copy it, and I'm going to come back into Dreamweaver. Now, that snippet does not go on the page itself. This is a style sheet, and remember, that goes in the head area between the head opening and closing and even more I need to actually put a style tag around it so I'm going to go ahead and make that style tag it opens and closes and in between I'm going to paste that little snippet and what this little snippet says I'm going to go ahead and refresh it what this little snippet says this is the commenting portion it says clear everything but here is the universal selector this little asterisk here it says for everything in this page automatically start with the default of no padding no margins and no borders and so now notice over here I've only had to create one universal rule and that applies to the entire page now some of the other snippets that I really enjoy taking um, I always uh, this particular snippet here puts the spacing back in that basically reverses what I just did quite frankly there's no point in putting that back in if I just took it out but know that you could explicitly define that I also like to um, put in these little snippets on my ordered lists and my unordered lists on how they will look I'm gonna go ahead and copy that I'm gonna come back in here and once again I need to get those in between my opening style and my closing style I'm gonna paste that here now notice nothing significant happened on this page and that's because I haven't actually applied any kind of ordered list or unordered list here so I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that this I'm gonna highlight it and I'm going to choose an unordered list piece and now I've got this little disk as a circle and it's a certain distance from the left and the circle and the content are a certain distance from the um, the uh, circle there and that is all defined by this little rule here that I just put in there okay now if I want an ordered list I'm gonna go ahead and type in something profound here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and click on ordered list there okay so once again I always like to put in these little default snippets so that my web page basically knows what to do when I invoke an ordered list or when I invoke an unordered list that kind of thing what I'd like you to do is go ahead and set up this default page much like this and I'd like you to go ahead and add the universal style selector I'd like you to add the ordered list the unordered list and the block quote um, rules that I have on my snippets over here and then as a final thing I'd like you to go ahead and come down and take a look at some of these cl common classes you don't necessarily have to um, use all of these but perhaps if you wanted to use some of these classes of um, the uh, justification pieces here left right and center I'm gonna go ahead and copy those and I'm gonna come back over here once again I need to put those into my style areas up here and once again they don't do anything until I actually apply them so I'm going to say this is left text this is right text uh, this is center text now what I'm going to do in order to apply a class remember if I wanted to apply an HTML I'd come over here but if I wanted to apply a class I would come here this is text left this is text right and this is text center so by having defined all of those rules now I can go ahead and just apply them and those rules are pretty common things that I would want on every single page now once I've done all of those pieces I want you to save this as CSS toolkit dot HTML and then I want you to link to it from your instructional design menu up next 
is information on creating divs and manipulating them in CSS. See you soon.